So I bought a couple of items last week to help with my vlogging stuff, so this one we'll do this later. Uh, yeah. This one I know what this is, so uh, open it with a pocket knife, which my father-in-law was so kind enough to give me. Thank you, Dad. And not cut yourself. There we go. Uh, so this is probably a tripod. Let's put this up. And yes, it is. Right. I mean, it comes with a nice phone holder, but I won't use that. Huh. Yay. Right. Got out of the way. This one is probably what I'm going to use most for vlogging. Three items. Alright. Had a little blooper there. Ran out of space. I forgot to transfer all those files that we made, those videos from all the way back to the trick or treat video. It was still my phone, they're still my phone, so we're taking up space. Alright, let's take a look at these. Alright, this is the uh, phone mount from Yulanzi. I don't know how to pronounce that. Let's take a look. Wow, this is pretty hefty. It's uh, solid aluminum, spring loaded. Yeah, this looks pretty secure. Spring loaded. This is pretty good. I think I like this. Yeah. And then we've got a ball joint. I wasn't actually sure if I'd need this, but I figured, yeah, what the hell. Let's just try it. So I guess it goes in this way. Ha! There we go. And tripod legs slash handle. Let's see. There we go. This is gonna be my new vlogging rig. And if I need to set it down, I got a tripod. Oh, and it's uh, it's got nice rubber feet as well. Okay. Ball joint is pretty solid. When you lock that, yep, doesn't move. Yeah, I think I like this. There we go. Now I think I can move this camera over there. Let me show you what my current rig is. I've been filming on a gimbal. I've been using it as a uh, tripod. It's just kind of a bit a waste of what it can do. So let's see how this can go. Can you fit my pixel? Please do. Oh well, one more thing. The groove here is they, they got it's got a rubber pad here. So that would protect the phone from scratches. I use a case anyway because I use a moment lens, so I use the moment case. And that is pretty solid. That phone is not moving. It's not moving. It's easy to hold as well. Now it sits a little lower because of all of these stuff. This one I've been waiting for. Because the pixel audio is just garbage. What a microphone. This is the uh, Rode Video Micro. Alright. The Rode Video Micro. Let's see what's in here. box so it comes with a dead cat the microphone is inside of that cat let's just keep it there it's nice and furry it's got a uh, 
Coach him out. You know what? I better read the manual first. Check the manual. So apparently this thing goes in from here. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Don't break it this on the first try. There we go. Do -do -do -do. Oh yeah, by the way, since I am using this with a phone, a Pixel phone, I need to get the um, additional cable so that this would work. There we go. So you need the um, SC7 TRS to TRRS cable. You need the cable with the three rings. So we'll try this out, see how it sounds like. All right, got it now set up. It's pretty hefty, it's pretty heavy. I don't know, how do I sound like? What do you think? Does it sound good? I hope so. Just so that you know how it looks like. This is how it currently looks like. Pretty good, I think. Oh, I think you can see the uh, dead cat over there. And this is the audio coming from the Rode Micro. So which one sounds better? <laughs> okay, so out of the box, uh, the microphone wasn't inserted properly into the dead cat, which is fine. Uh, I just needed to read the instructions better. And um, I was able to mount it better on the shock mount. So hopefully you're not gonna hear uh, the microphone vibrating a lot while I'm talking or moving around. Because you can see the microphone just moving around. Hopefully with the microphone um, inserted properly into the cold shoe uh, of the uh, phone holder that I have, I hope that you're not seeing the dead cat on the uh, moment wide lens right now one more test how does this thing perform with wind well about to find out with a fan so this is how it sounds like with the wind blowing through my hair let's move around see how wind direction per, uh, affects the sound right now it's blowing from the right side from the right side of the phone right side of the mic and here it is with the wind blowing straight towards the mic god the check hammer is so noisy and down to the right side of the mic can you hear it and back to the back of the mic this time we're going to test how distance affects the mic pickup right now i am uh, speaking about i don't know foot and a half two feet this is how the microphone sounds like from about you know, six feet maybe so i don't know how well the mic picks up my voice now from this distance uh, one more test that i'd like to do is um, to show you how the microphone picks up sound from all around it so right now i'm talking directly to the mic and I am going to turn the phone around uh, clockwise or to the right, right? So it's moving, it's moving. I am now to the side of the phone. I am now to the side of the phone, can you hear me? And it's moving. This is gonna be like a house tour as well. Right, I am now directly behind the microphone. How's that sound? Turning around. And I am now to the, um, actually this is the right side of the phone. And back directly in front. So I've uh, had to lower down the gain on the mic. Um, I just realized that it's speaking. So I hope that the uh, audio levels are better here and that I'm not making you deaf. But I'm gonna fix that in post anyway, so we'll see. Overall, I am happy with it. Now, I am going to enjoy this, but the problem now is um, with a rig like this, there's really no way you can hide the fact that you are vlogging in public. And I don't know if I am ready for that yet. So, <laughs> I don't know yet if I can bring this outside. I, I, I don't have that confidence just yet. But I am building towards it and maybe, yeah, might as well own it, right?